Did I hit something? Oh, no. Is he badly hurt? He's dead. Dead? I said he's silly, silly. All right. I didn't see him. Your headlights were in my eyes. You were taking that corner too quickly. We must get the police. No, 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 wait. I wouldn't do that, Miss Crane. You know me? Well, of course. Everyone knows Barbara Crane. Have you considered the consequences if you get involved in this unfortunate man's death? Involved? I killed him. Only you and I know that. There's no identification, nothing. Just a hobo. Miss Crane, I suggest we forget this accident ever happened. Can I forget it with this man's body lying here? Over there is a sheer drop. It might be days before anyone found it. No, no. If this were to get out, it could finish your career in the theater. And what a loss that would be. Oh, stop. Who's going to miss this old failure? If you won't save yourself from the consequences, then I must do it for you. Walter, I'm being blackmailed. Blackmail? I hope. Someone saw me in a driving accident when a man was killed. Did you kill the man? Yes. Then the driver of the other car persuaded me not to tell the police. Then he threw the body over a cliff. This driver fellow's blackmailing you. He was. But not anymore. He was murdered by whoever he was working with. Are you going to pay him? No. No? I'm going to trap him. I see. But isn't that rather dangerous if the man's a killer? How are you going to do it? Play up to him. Pretend to confide. Very clever. And then? Trick him into an admission, then turn him over to the police. Sounds an excellent plan. And haven't you first got to discover who he is? Oh, I already know that. You do? Why are you stopping? It was just here that the accident took place. I want to show you exactly what happened. Thank you. I should be very interested. It was just here I was supposed to have hit the man. Supposed? Well, I didn't see him. I only felt the bump as I went over something. Most upsetting. And the driver of the other car came over, found the man was dead, and threw the body over the cliff. There. There's a ledge. I didn't get out to the edge before. The body would have landed there. That makes it all different. How? The man must have been alive. They'd have found the body soon enough if it had been there. Go on. This means it was all a put-up job to make me think I killed him. So that I could be blackmailed. Most ingenious, I must say. Yes, very ingenious indeed. You ought to be congratulated on having conceived and carried it out. Well, it's nice to be complimented on work well done. Not so well done. You haven't got the money yet. Too true. Never will get it now. Because I shall have to kill you. I'm sure you understand the necessity. But one thing I do promise you. You won't land on that ledge. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> And, uh, by the way, take a look at this. Another one of Mr. Arthurson's theatrical studies. Ever seen him before? Why, yes. It's the man I'm supposed to have killed. Our old friend in the back, Walter Manton, in one of his most successful character parts. Police will be very interested. I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Brady. Oh, yes, you do. Go on stage opening night and give the performance of your career. You bet I will. I'll take you up on that lunch date, too. Thank you, Miss Crane. I look forward to that. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button.